I'm Marin, and this is Post-Its and Pens. Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about what I am carrying in my travel makeup bag as I travel to Mexico. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Now today is Sunday and I am getting ready to fly down to Mexico on Tuesday. So it is time to do my packing and I thought I would go ahead and start off with my travel makeup bag. So I do bring this makeup case right here. It is from Mecca Cosmetics, but obviously I'm not Australian. Shout out to my friend Kathy who purchased this for me and sent it to me because what I really love about this bag is that it's double sided. So it's clear all the way through and it has two separate compartments. So you can put all of your things and keep them organized. So you can put like liquids on one side, powders on the other, or however you want to do it. Now, I am checking a bag this time when I fly down, so I do not need to worry about the liquids rules. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through packing my makeup bag, talk about the makeup that I'm going to be bringing and why I'm bringing it. So here we go. Okay, so to start off, I always create a packing list. I am a list maker, so I have makeup written up here, and then I've just listed out all of the products that I'm going to bring with me. Um, so as you can see, I have primer, foundation, concealers, under eye and spot concealers. I have powders, face powder and under eye setting powder, blush, brow pencil, eye primer, eyeshadow eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss. So these are the things that I've kind of been thinking about and figuring out what exactly I want to bring with me. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling out the Mecca Cosmetica case. Now, this is the smaller side, so if you can see, um, it doesn't have as much room for products, so I usually use this for the smaller items. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the bigger pocket here. And to start, I'm going to put in my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is the only face primer that I currently have and I am really enjoying it. I feel like it helps my foundation stay in place a little bit longer and it's the perfect size to fit in there. So yay for that. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one. Next for my foundation, I am going to be bringing this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, mostly because it has an additional SPF, but also because it looks the nicest as it fades away. So I have oily skin, especially in my T-zone. This does not last forever, but it looks nice as it wears away. So we're gonna go ahead and go with this one for like a little bit more of a glowy natural look. Then I have my two e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers. I've talked before about how I mix these two colors together for my under eyes. The peach helps cancel out the purple a little bit and the lighter color helps brighten. So I'm going to bring both of those. For my setting powder, I am working on the Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is the only setting powder that I currently have. So obviously this is the one I'm going to be bringing. I'm also going to obviously bring my eyelash curler. I need to slide it in here because this part is a little bit wider and I like to keep all of my makeup together. So I'm just going to slide that in right here. We have my under eye concealers here, but I also am bringing my NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which I like to use for spot concealing. This is in my project pan. You can see I am making some nice progress on it. So we're gonna bring that along just in case I need to do a little bit of spot concealing. Okay, next I have my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. It's just the one that I've got right now, the only one I've got. So that's going to go in there. And I'm also going to bring my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is also in my project pan. I am trying like desperately to get this finished, y'all. It is taking forever, but I am making some decent progress on it. So I just have like this littlest bit left. So hoping I can bring this with me, throw it in my bag and just get a little bit more use out of it while I am down in Mexico. So that is this section right here. So we're going to go ahead and zip it up. Okay, 
so that's the first side. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna fill in the back side. But as you can see, you can see through this, which I really, really like. That way I can see exactly where everything is if I'm looking for something specific. Now, we're gonna start off with my under eye setting powder. This is the number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder. It just looks like this right here. And it's what I use to set my under eyes. It looks really pretty. So we're gonna put that one in there. Now, I am going to be bringing this little Natasha Denona mini retro palette because this shade 60s, which is the middle shade, this kind of army greenish shade is in my eyeshadow roulette for this month. And this is just a nice little basic palette to bring along to travel with, like got your nudes, your natural colors, a little bit of um, shimmery colors and then this green one here that I can use on my lower lash line so that is the eyeshadow that I'm bringing along it's the only one I'm going to bring okay next I have my NYX eyebrow powder pencil this is my current eyebrow pencil the only one I've got so it's gonna go in there obviously I'm also going to bring this ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade mr. Bing this is also in my project pan and I am trying to get a little bit more use out of it. So I don't have a ton left, as you can see, like we are almost finished with it. So I'm gonna bring it along and see if I can't get a little bit more use out of it. I usually use this on my lower lash line, so we'll put that in there. I also have my regular eyeliner, which is the Benefit Roller Liner. That's my kind of liquid liner. And I've been using this little mini of the Bite, I think it's called the Upswing, yeah, the Upswing Mascara, but this is almost out, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring just the full size Bite Mascara with for my trip, just because I'm a little worried that this one is going to run out. It's kind of flaky and dry, so we're gonna leave this one here and just bring the new one with. Okay, then I have this Tarte lipstick. If you are following along, this is also in my project pan. I am making some progress, but I've been mostly using this as a cream blush. So I'm hoping that's how I can get some use out of this. I think with that Ilia skin tint, this will look really pretty. So I'm gonna put that in there, but I'm also going to bring this Tarte blush in the shade Quirky. It's more of a peachy color, just in case I want to go that route as this one is a little bit more like brownish nude. So just to get a couple of options there, hopefully get some more use out of this, but also have this in case I want to switch it up a little bit. And then I have this Bite um, Agave Lip Butter Balm. This is just a plain um, lip gloss. I This is identical to the lip balm that I had from them. It was just in a different package that I really, really liked. So I picked this one up when they had everything on sale because Bite is going out of business. So, you know, look into that. Everything's 50% off, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there just for like a basic lip balm. And then I also have a new powder puff that I'm going to bring along. The one that I have is a little dirty, but I'm just gonna put this brand new one in here and bring that along as well. So we'll go ahead and zip this side up. And there you go. That is my travel makeup bag. I just really, really like this bag. I think it makes it super easy to travel with because you can see everything that's in there. And when I pack this, I do stand it up inside of another pouch. So I don't need to worry about the liquid spilling. Although if they do, it's completely plastic inside so it's easy to clean. So that's, you know, just an just in case thing, but hopefully we won't have that problem. Now that is the makeup. This is what I take to keep my makeup brushes in. So if you can see, this does fold down like this. So you can stand your makeup brushes up and they have these little loops. I keep my beauty blender sponge just down in the middle here and then I stand the brushes up. However, my brushes are currently being cleaned so I cannot um, show you they are drying. So I can't show you exactly what I'm going to bring but I'm going to bring just a powder brush, a little blush brush and then my foundation brush 
because the Ilia goes on better with a brush. It looks a little bit nicer. And then I will also have a couple of eyeshadow blending brushes and a concealer brush for like the spot concealer. And that's everything that will go in here. When I do my pack with me video, I will make sure I include the brushes in there so you can see them, but um, you can just use your imagination right here. So that is it. That is a look at my travel makeup bag. Now, as I said, this one came from Mecca, which is exclusively um, in Australia. I did a Google search. This isn't even available like through Mecca anymore. I feel like it was like a limited edition type thing. So I will attempt to find something that's like dual sided like this. Um, but I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to do. So I will do my best to find something similar to link down below. But that is a look at my travel makeup bag. That's kind of been my go-to just using this. So when I do travel carry on only, I do not put the liquids in here. Liquids have to go in a separate TSA approved um, like quart size bag but because I am checking my bag this time and I'm this is going to be in my suitcase I do not need to worry about separating the liquids out here so that's why everything's kind of all in here but if I was traveling carry on only I would actually rethink a couple of these things and definitely not bring like the full size bottles and I probably would not bring this particular um, like foundation product as well I might try to do like um, some spot concealing, some green color corrector and powder only. But since I have the space and I really do like how this looks on my skin, I'm able to bring that along with me. So just something to keep in mind. I do make changes to what's in my travel makeup bag, depending on if I'm checking a bag or going carry on only. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little look at what I will be taking with me down to Mexico in terms of makeup. If you enjoyed, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.